Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the new Pink Diamond NBA 75, Dirk Nowitzki. Here he goes, over Eubanks. Oh, wow. How <laughs> fitting. Now, for any of y'all who know me, y'all know that I'm a massive Mavs fan, and Dirk is my favorite player of all time. I have tons of incredible memories of watching Dirk as I was growing up. Uh, 2011 Finals, one of the most fun experiences of my life to be a part of, um, well, not be a part of, but to watch uh, as a kid was super, super cool. And Dirk, obviously, is a legend, not just for Mavs fans, but in general uh, for NBA fans. But uh, yeah, I personally have a huge connection to Dirk. I love Dirk. Uh, he is my favorite player of all time, like I said. I'm super excited to use this card today uh, and see how good he is in my team. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 3,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day and would appreciate the support if you haven't already. If you do, subscribe. But without further ado, let's hop right into it and see what Dirk is looking like. So, Dirk is a 7'1", power forward center option. Definitely would recommend running him at the center position. 99 off, it's 86 defense coming with a 74 driving layup. Uh, solid post game. 95 mid-range, 94 three-pointer with an 80 standing dunk and a 75 driving dunk. His post fade is a 98. He's Dirk, obviously. That's not a surprise. He's going to have that post fade we're definitely gonna have to try that out in game not much of a ball handling rating and defensively he's super mediocre 74 blocks 78 interior 66 steel 64 perimeter is just not very good so 85 offensive and 86 defensive rebounding isn't great but it should get the job done but the main problem with this card is the 65 speed 57 speed of ball 64 acceleration he is incredibly slow one of the slowest centers that 2k has released in recent really just recently at all in this game uh, definitely going to be a liability i think in that area it's really going to hurt him defensively and that's the biggest issue that i have with this card 60 lateral quickness as well is just not good uh, so defensively and athletically he's just not very good 75 driving dunk tendency is decent and then defensive tendencies are pretty mediocre right around that 50s and 60s nothing special there that being said nine hops which include captain shoot corner specialist postman technician fade ace rhythm shooter dream shake snipers hot zone hunter and volume shooter as well as 22 goals which include difficult shots drop stepper put back boss glue hands box intimidator rebound chaser mismatch expert worm back down punisher rise up blinder circus threes limitless spot up giant slayer set shooter clutch shooter dead eye stop and pop green machine gray center pressure and post playmaker as well as silver post lockdown obviously with him being an nba 75 card you can add any badge you want to so you can add the rim protector the chase down artist the clamps the interceptor bunch of defensive badges pogo stick those are going to be the key ones to add to him are those defensive badges maybe quick for step and bailout as well the problem with this card is he needs a lot of badges bullet passers another key one and he's just not going to be a good enough defender so even if you fully badge this card out i'm not sure how usable he is that being said being as he's my favorite player of all time i am excited to use this card so let's hop into freestyle and see what his animations are looking like. All right, checking out Dirk here in freestyle. Oh my gosh, he drops the ball immediately. Just this card is not going to be able to handle the ball. Jump shot wise, it's not elite, but it's decent. You can use it. It's not as bad as it's been in previous years, one thing I will say. And with all of the Hall of Fame shooting badges that he has, he is going to be a knockdown shooter. Already comes a limitless spot up on gold as well. He's got hot spots from everywhere outside the three point line, as you can see. And the release is relatively knocked down. Also has a high release, so it's going to be challenging to contest, especially for shorter players. And he has a really nice size up, even though he doesn't have the ball handle rating. You may be able to get some crabs with stuff like that and get off an open look with Dirk. The problem is 65 speed is absolutely atrocious. 57 speed of ball, same thing. That's going to hurt the card for sure. It's really going to prevent him, I think, from being a truly usable option. That being said, he does have the classic Dirk fade. And for those of y'all who know, I mean, it's Dirk. Come on. It's a nice quick fade as well. Creates separation. You might be able to get some stuff look go going with that Dirk fade. Um, and I'm excited to try it out in game and just see what he can do. Full court dribble six. I don't expect him to be impressive at all. Behind the back actually isn't that bad. Between the legs is pretty bad. But overall, the lack of speed is really what concerns me with this card and i think is going to prevent him from being a top big man option but i am excited to use him in the pick and pick and pop and the post and see what dirt can give me so without further ado let's hop into a game and see what dirk nowitzki can do Checking out our opponent's squad. He doesn't have the best of teams. Does have Pink Diamond Moses Malone, who is a good defensive center, though, at the center position. So that should be a solid matchup for Dirk. Let's hop into the game and see what we can do with the German Jesus. Hopping into this game, Dirk does win the tip. Let's get into our freelance and let's run ourselves a nice pick and pop with Dirk. See if we can get an open, him an open three-point opportunity on the first possession. We're able to do so. Dirk, he gets contested. We'll take it, though. Do, do draw the three-point foul, and we're going to go to the free throw line and see what Dirk's free throw release is looking like. Now, Dirk is one of the all-time great free throw shooters as well. One of the best free throw shooting bigs of all time, so I expect this free throw should be nothing short of knockdown. Admittedly, it's not probably the greatest form in the, in the world. A little bit slow, but we do green it there, and you should basically make every single free throw you shoot with Dirk even if you don't green the free throw I mean it's 100% right there if you get the timing good you're gonna knock down every free throw with this Dirk card 
Look at Dirk on defense. Come here, Dirk. Give me a stop, baby. You got to finish the. You got to finish the possession. Oh yeah, Dirk. Give me a steal. Push and transition. He may not have any speed, but he is Dirk Nowitzki. Throw it ahead. Giannis throwing down the dunk, and we'll take our nice assist with Dirk Nowitzki. Get me a stop, and then turn it into offense. On the other hand, I do wish Dirk had a little bit more speed. I mean, young Dirk was a pretty good athlete. I know old Dirk couldn't move at all, and honestly, a 65 speed might be generous for the way that Dirk was in his old age. But when he was young, he was an elite player on both ends of the court. And Dirk gets me another steal. Push and transition. Go by him, Dirk, all the way to the rim. Dirk, no. Oh, that was probably not the best shot selection I could have taken. We do get the stop there. Kobe bringing it up the court, and we're going to try to get another pick and pop going with Dirk. I want to shoot a three, an open three with him. We do get the pop wide open. Dirk Nowitzki, easy green lights, cash money, and Dirk is absolutely hooping to start off this game. Six points and an assist to start off this game. Let's see if we can keep it going on the defensive end of the court. Blitz the screen. Dirk, give me another steal. Oh, he draws the foul. That's fine. Good boy, Dirk. Throw it over to Kobe, and let's get Dirk in the pick and roll. I'm going to try to get a pick and roll so I can get a paint, paint touch with Dirk. Actually, I'm running out of time. You know what? Throw it over to Giannis. Back to Dirk. Dirk, go up. Finish at the rim. Okay, that's a tough little layup. I'll take that. Not a pretty possession whatsoever, but it does result in another Dirk Nowitzki bucket, and we will take that any day of the week. Good defense. Yes, sir. Good D, Kobe. Yes, sir, baby. Push and transition. Dirk is slow. He's way back in the play, but you know what? We can get to the post here and see if we can get ourselves a post fade with Dirk. Right into the post. Post fade away. Oh, that's a heavy contest. That's tough. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Good D, baby. Yes, sir, Giannis. Throw it over to Penny. Throw it into Dirk. Pump fake, get to the rim, hit corner. I don't know about that either, but Turk throwing ourselves a dot. He doesn't have bailout. He still gets the nice bailout pass and gets a dot for another assist. He's got eight points, two rebounds, and two assists. He is carrying our squad right now. Good D, baby. Yes, sir. Good defense. Actually, he gets the rim and lays it, and that's fine. I really want to get Dirk in the in, get him a post fade. Post fades are not super effective in this game, especially against a good defensive center like Moses Malone. But if we can get a switch, we have an opportunity to potentially get that post work, and it's just not going to happen. I don't think. Um, yeah, just unfortunate. But you know what, Dirk. Ah. Great D, Dirk. Board. Yes, sir. We got what we got a couple more opportunities to get that pit post fade. I want to get a post fade. And it just with Moses Malone being the defensive center on him, it's just it just makes it tough. But you know what? Ah, kick it out. Swing, Kobe, wide open three. We'll take our wide open three. Easy pass to assist right there from Dirk. We do wind up finishing it into a po into points. But it's just I'm wanting to get that post fade, but it's so hard to get an opportunity like that against a guy like Moses Malone. All right, with about a minute left, he did wind up quitting, and Dirk played really good in that game, as y'all saw. Uh, did force a couple shots with him that probably just weren't good shots, and I unfortunately wasn't able to get him into the post and get a good look at a post fade. But uh, that being said, I thought Dirk played pretty well in the game, and I really enjoyed using the card overall. Let's hop back into the main menu and review this Dirk card. In conclusion, as much as I love Dirk Nowitzki, and I do, um, this card is not worth picking up. I'll be completely honest. He is only worth picking up for guys like me who are massive Mavericks fans, massive Dirk Nowitzki fans, and for that reason, and I'm going to use this card. I'm going to have fun with him. Obviously, we'll not be using him in any sort of competitive setting, but I will definitely use him in Triple Threat Online, in Clutch Time, and modes like that where I can get away with using a guy like Dirk Nowitzki and try to have fun with him because I am super excited about Dirk getting a card in my team. Unfortunately, he's just not good. He's not close to worth the price that he's going for. He's significantly over 100k MT. I paid way too much MT for this card, but um, yeah, I don't recommend picking this card up. I don't think he's very good at all, but that being said, I had a ton of fun using the card, and I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.